Hey, it's Dr. Fred with TMT, Tuesday Morning Transformation. Check that out. What are you feeding yourself today? This is like Vanna White. What are you feeding yourself today? Okay, check this out. So we're spirit, mind, body. Spiritual being, right? That's life force energy. Our mind directs life force energy. Body is a physical man manifestation. That's the holy triune. Spirit, mind, body. Let me get my props. I have another one. So about eight years ago, I woke up in the morning and I saw this and I said, you know what? I want to transform the whole life coaching profession because it's kind of obsolete, the whole wheel of life thing. And I want to do something different. So I went to the gym and, and this was just weighing on me. I was kind of stressed and I'm walking to this machine. All of a sudden I had a vision. Like I didn't even see the gym. All I saw was this right here. Now an equilateral triangle is the strongest structure on earth. So spirit is a foundation. Why? Because we're spirit first. Mind, our mind is a tool that directs life force energy. So our spirit, we have spiritual thoughts, our mind direct life force energy, and then we produce and we create in the physical world. That's body. So my question is, if this is the strongest structure, and this really is the holy triune, you know, the, the unity of three. Three is a, uh, is a very spiritual, powerful, uh, universally connected number. We have spirit, mind, body, right? And, and then now we can apply this template. So the question is, are you feeding all these areas in your life? Okay, so are you hungry to feed those. See, hunger is desire. Thirst is deprivation. So I'm always hungry, not because I'm Italian, but I'm always hungry. I'm never thirsty. Does that make sense? So we have to feed that. How do we feed it? Well, we go to the bread. See, here's a loaf of bread, and this is our food. So what do we do? Where's our source? The loaf is our source. This is God. Like, this is the universe. This is the source. This is this is all things. So we go in the morning and we say, what do I need today? What's my bread today? Let's feed our spirit, mind, body. So what do we do? We have our morning rituals. I have my morning rituals. I wake up, right? Uh, do a little meditation as I lay there. <laughs> I hit the snooze button one time. And as I lay there, man, I'm visualizing my day. I'm feeding my spirit. Then, then I go and I read a Bible quote. And I read A Course in Miracles. And I say, okay, what, what do I need to learn? God, show me what I need to learn today. What's my lesson? And I take that in. And then, you know, that's, that's the transition from spirit to mind. Then I look at my goals and I do my incantations and I do my affirmations, right? And then I go to the gym. So I, and, and I start to feed my body. I have a, then I have a green drink, take a little bit of protein and bone broth in there. And this is my daily bread. Then I go to the gym. Now I train my body, so I did my, I fed my spirit, I fed my mind, and now I go feed my body. Now, hey, you know what? Here's the deal, gang. I'm really excited to feed my body because after this, I'm freaking starving. Ground beef, eggs, black beans, feta cheese. Amazing, molto bene. See, it's, it's very good. That's what I feed my body, but here's the deal. So that's today's bread. What if I set that down and we left it here and then I come back tomorrow? Would, I, would we want to eat that? See, this is Tuesday's bread. What if this was Monday's bread? Would I want to eat that on Tuesday? No. So what do we have to do? But see, this is what people do. Well, I did this on Monday, so let me do exactly the same thing on Tuesday. Is that, is that what God wants us to do? See, here's a quote from I got from Joel Osteen. If you don't innovate, you dissipate. Does the same strategy work every time? So I remember in one of my past relationships, we ran into this challenge that was a break in core values. And I said, look, this, when you do this, this bot, I don't live my life like this. Okay, this isn't who I am. And I remember she said, well, this is what I've always done in all my relationships. And how did those work for you? You know, sometimes what we do is we do the same thing because we go back to the same bread. But what do we need to do every day? We need to go back to the source and say, you know what? Hey, that's Tuesday. But what am I gonna do on Wednesday? I need a new piece of bread, man, because I'm hungry for that next step. I'm, I'm never thirsty, but I'm hungry for that next step. So, let me flip that over. So here's, uh, I had an experience I want to tell you about yesterday, uh, Sunday night. 
I, I woke up in the middle of the night, man, I was stressed. You know when your mind just runs? And I was thinking about all this and solve this and I have this challenge over here and I want to do this and I want to do that. And for about two and a half hours I was awake. So naturally I wake up, 5 a.m., go to work out, I'm tired, right? So I go to the gym, just like I do every day, probably using, using the bread from a few days ago or three weeks or six months ago. And I see a raccoon run through the parking structure. I'm like, I'd go to this gym, especially when I don't travel, six days a week. I never once for years saw a raccoon ever. So I'm like, okay, God's talking to me. The universe has talked to me. What's this energy? So I quickly Google, what's the animal spirit energy of a raccoon? Well, that's funny because the answer was, it's a problem solver. Well, here I was awake all night trying to solve my problems, right? That's why I was awake for two and a half hours. I see a raccoon for the first time in years going through the garage. So I laughed at myself like, okay, what am I doing? I have way too much mind. And what's the foundation? Not enough spirit. So what do I do? See, this is a formula. So I go back to spirit while I'm training. I'm like, thank God my body feels strong. Thank God for the relationships in my life. Thank God for elite. Thank God for your more powerful. Thank God for Tuesday transformation. Thank God for you guys. And, and I got back in my spirit and then I noticed my mind was calm. Isn't that funny? And my body felt great. I ended up having great energy, came back, ate a bunch of food, felt really great. And so later in that afternoon, I'm sitting at my laptop because I live near the beach, so I always leave the door open because it's always beautiful in Southern California when it's a little bit cloudy. And I'm sitting there, la la la, in my peaceful little state, doing my work, and this bird with a body about this big flies through the front door. Now, let me remind you, I leave my front door open every day, all day, even sometimes at night. So for the first time ever, this bird flies in and is about the distance from me to you right now. It flies in, it's flapping its wings, staring at me. Like we're looking eye to eye and I'm like, shit, what's this bird gonna do? How am I gonna get this thing out of here? And it sits there, then its partner bird comes in, flies right behind it like, hey dude, come on, we gotta go. Then it flies out, but it only goes out a little bit, hangs out, comes back in, flies, is this distance, and it's staring at me, flapping its wings, and it's by a gray bird, its body is about this big. I mean, this is a big bird, it's probably like this big, and it's five or six feet from me. And then it flies out again, and I'm like, okay, that was a trip, because earlier I saw a raccoon, now I'm seeing a bird, so immediately what do I do? I Google, what's the energy of a bird? And it's freedom, right? It's elevation, right? Birds fly at great, at, at different heights. So what's it mean? I'm achieving new heights. So when I fed my spirit, when I got stuck in my mind, and then I fed my spirit, and this whole thing came together, it's like the universe, my source, was talking to me in the form of animals. And I thought, that's a trip. And I thought, that's a confirmation that what did I need to do? Thank God. I had another piece of bread, man. Put that down. Yes, we'll probably eat these. Don't worry, I'm not wasting food. I had another piece of bread. Why? Because I'm connected to the source. Man, how cool is that? Why? Because I know what the formula is. This is the formula, right? This was given to me by God. This is the formula. So this is how we live our life. This is who we are. So my question is, statement, suggestion, go get your loaf. Because there's lots of good things in here. Maybe not bread, uh, literally, but certainly metaphorically. Let's stay connected to the loaf. And every day, let's get our daily bread. There you go. Love you guys. Comment, share. Uh, please share these. Let's spread these. I know there's millions, literally millions of people that need to be connected to the source. Be reminded. Uh, we're always already connected, but we need to be reminded. Let's get in that spirit, mind, body template and let's go back to our daily bread all right love you guys see you next week